Senator Jean Shaheen went on a sweeping tour of New Hampshire today to discuss some of the most pressing issues facing the Granite State and the country. WBAN's Martin Morenz has tonight's top story. New Hampshire Senator Jean Shaheen discussed economic issues and recent successes in bipartisanship at a New England Council luncheon at the Bedford Village Inn. The New England delegation in Washington works very closely together. So that's very good news as we think about the challenges that we face in New England. The Democratic senator has worked across the aisle for legislation such as reform for crop insurance programs, support for energy efficiency, and passage of the Farm Bill. And overall, the bill provided about $23 billion in savings, which will go back into deficit reduction. It reformed the way we provide um, support for farms in this country and provide for programs like um, food stamps. On another issue, it's been a thousand days since the federal highway bill expired. A short-term extension of the bill expires on June 30th, which is jeopardizing the future of the I-93 widening project. The Senate passed uh, on a very strong bipartisan vote, a transportation bill, back in March, and it's been held up in the House. Senator Shaheen points out cutting funding for the I-93 project would put 2,000 people out of work in New Hampshire and halt the project designed to reduce congestion and unleash economic development. The longer we delay, the more the highway fund gets spent down, and the longer-term ramifications for that are very bad in terms of funding that we need in order to support transportation in this country. Senator Shaheen is urging Congress to work together to pass a reauthorization highway bill in the next few weeks. In Bedford, New Hampshire, I'm Martin Morenz for News at 10 on WBIN.